My name is Maria Calauti of La Grand Chic Italia School of Fashion. I'm here today, I'm going to do a um, demo on how to fit the body with the bodice front um, method of a bodice under five minutes as I've shown in previous videos. This method really works, it fits like a charm. Um, the tools are the true stars, let me introduce you to them. This is the uh, square that you do the front and back bodice. They are pre-marked using uh, me uh, formulas that tailors used for years, trying to figure out all the calculations are done for you, so you don't all you use is the half bust measurement. So this is the front, this is the back. This one does sleeves and pants. Same principle applies. For the sleeves, you use the half bust measurements. It's all broken down. For the pants, you use the half hip measurement, it's all broken down as well. This is the French curve to assist in creating curved lines. This is the red square. It's red and it's a square, therefore it's the red square. You have the mandarin collar, you do the, the uh, shirt collar. This is for cuffs and this is to create the uh, back for a notch collar for blazers or any kind of collar actually. So a very useful tool. This is the instruction book that comes with the kit. It'll take you from beginner to tailor in no time at all if you follow the instructions. And of course there's a measuring tape that is um, specific to tailors. This kit is available for purchase on my website. It'll arrive to you in the mail in an envelope like this in uh, five, four to seven days or seven to ten days depending where you live. I can ship anywhere in the world uh, with Canada Post and uh, it will give you many many years of pattern making and lots of new garments. For this demo today I'm going to be doing a front princess lines, um, a bodice with the front princess lines only going to the hip and a back just a sheath at the back. Uh, meaning it just has the fisheye darts, uh, um, just for today's demonstration. The measurements are here. Uh, a friend and neighbor of mine graciously volunteered to be my model. She'll be here towards the end of the video to fit the body. These are the measurements and they are taken in metric and uh, that's what I will be using to draft the, um, the pattern. prove that a bodice with shaping can be done in under five minutes. I'm going to start the timer and start the draft using the measurements that I've shown you. I have not drafted anything using these measurements for this particular person before. This is going to be a first time, so I'm taking quite a chance. All right, so here goes. All right, so I'm using the half bust measurement, which in this case is 61. So my drafting two step is one, two, three, slide. Came off. Four. Six, draw the line for the shoulder incline. Now her front neck to waist is 45 centimeters. So now I'm going to draw the waist. The actual waist measurement is 56.5, so it's right there, and closing the square. Okay, now I'm going to add the hips, so it's down 17 centimeters. I'm going to make 
this line a little bit more straight. You must be careful with the lines. Down 17 centimeters. And the hip, the half hip, is 65.5. That would be right there. Okay. I've done the basic block. Now I'm going to start the shaping. So the shaping starts like this. Down two, out two, in five, and the, um, the, the base start is one-sixth of the half bust measurement, so I'm going to go with ten. So ten and ten. Redraw the armhole. I'm going to find the bust height to find the apex. Bust height is 34. Half bust distance is 13.5, which is right here. I'm going to connect the dots. And I'm going to add one centimeter ease at the hip and connect the side seam. Now this is not quite done. I'm going to have to, because that's not going to fit properly, so now I have to actually redraw that shoulder incline. There is the shoulder incline. Okay. And that's the beginning of the princess line. So that took a whole four minutes and eight seconds. Okay, now I'm going to add the bottom part of the princess seams. Okay, to do that, that's no, okay, don't need the time. To do that, I'm going to extend the apex line down to the hip so I can actually put in the, um, the fisheye dart. Now the fisheye darts at the front are much smaller than the back. They are normally one centimeter on each side of this line, so two centimeters. But in Kathleen's case, because I see that um, her um, hips and waist is not a lot of difference, I'm going to go half a centimeter on each side, just giving her enough shape to, uh, giving her enough shape without taking away from the waist. Now the fisheye dart is 10 centimeters below the waist on the front. Then I'm going to take my red square using the mandarin collar on this side and I'm going to give it its shape. Like so. Now, isn't that a gorgeous shaped uh, dart? That's a beautiful shaped dart. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start on the back. You notice that I haven't done any shaping whatsoever at the side quite yet. The only thing I did was connect the armhole to the hip. And that's all I need to do at this point. Once I get the back done, then I will address that issue. So I'm going to just shift the papers here. And the back is going to be done in the same manner as the front. Except it's a mirror image of the front. So here we go. All right. So one, I'm going to mark adulti for the neckline. Two, three, slide, four. Now I'm going to 
extend that down a little bit, just because I know that otherwise it won't be enough. There, it won't. I won't be able to see it. So there we go. There's five. shoulder incline. Okay? Now for the back, we must always go up, always go up one centimeter. Up there. Always go up one centimeter. That gives a nicer armhole. Okay? Now I'm going to find the back neck to waist. Now, the back neck to waist for Kathleen is, she's a larger busted lady, a wonderful lady, is 38 centimeters. That's quite the difference between the front and the back. But I have a way of addressing it that will take away that affliction called gaposis. And many, many women suffer from it, unfortunately. Now, the half waist, again, is 56.5. And I'm going to join, just with a dotted line. That is the basic block. So I've closed up my square. Now, I'm going to mark the 17 to mark the hip line. And the hip is 65.5. Okay? So now I'm going to join these two together. I'm going to add the dart. And the dart is going to be at the halfway point. It's the shape, actually, I think I should, I'm going to do the shaping before I do the dart. Just to make sure that the waist is correct. Alright. So the next step is to take the front or the back, fold it on the straight line, and line up the hips and the waist. Now, notice the difference here? That's pretty significant. That is pretty significant. I will address that. At the moment though, I'm going to see the, um, the uh, fisheye dart at the back. So, I think I'm gonna have to take this in. So over here, the shaping is done exactly the same amount on the front as the back. <clears throat> so I'm going to do one and a half and one and a half <clears throat> for the shaping for that back. Okay, so now I'm going to take the back measurement from the shaping, so that is 29.5, so that would be half of that is 14.25. There's the halfway point. I'm going to anchor my square on the hip line and draw a line from the bust to the hips. At the back, I'm going to put in the back dart, which is one and a half, and one and a half on either side, three centimeters up from the hip and to the shoulder, just using straight lines. I have my dart. I'm going to do a little bit more shaping back here of half a centimeter just to give a little bit more shape to the back. I'm not sure but she may need a uh, sway back adjustment. That's something that we'll have to see when she tries the mock-up on. Now if you're not familiar with the sway back adjustment it just means that there is a, a slightly larger curvature at the back 
making this part, the distance from here to here, shorter than the distance from here to here. All right, so that looks like a front and back, doesn't it? Now, the one thing that I have to do before I can address this is I have to see the half shoulder measurement, which is 20 centimeters, the half shoulder width at the back. So I'm going to do that in red. Actually, no, I'm going to do that in green, so that way you see the relation between the front and the back. So 20 goes, whoa, that's right to here. That's very significant. She has very small shoulders, but a larger bust. Anyway, it's nothing that can't be fixed. So four centimeters. I have to account it's four centimeters smaller. Her shoulders are four centimeters smaller than the pattern. So traditional thinking would have you remove it from here, from the shoulder. That is not going to work. In fact, what one must do is enlarge the base start. Because it's so much, well, it's four centimeters right here. So you're going to enlarge that base start by four centimeters. And you're going to redraw that shoulder incline. This is why I did that adjustment in green. a little bit of a larger bust can relate to the gaposis and this is the cure for it it just takes absolute care of it so there is the smaller shoulder and here we have it it is 11 centimeters there and it is okay it's it's actually 12 here just because of the, the incline so I'm going to actually remove a centimeter from here so from there to there is 11 centimeters. Okay. And this is going to be redrawn, but not until I address this issue here. The difference between the front and the back is a further four centimeters. So what I'm going to do is this. Just going to take and draw a line, and I'm going to add two centimeters on either side. One, two, okay? And I'm making a dart that will be pinched out. pinched out and that side is redrawn. Now you see what happens when you do that? You get extra fabric over here. You're going to get extra fabric that's needed to be able to fit the bus line properly. What you're going to see with this mock-up is going to amaze you. So now, just to prove that I did it correctly, I'm going to take, hold it here, put it next to the back. And let's see what happens. Perfect. That is perfect. So now I'm going to take and, and uh, redraw that armhole. I've done it partially here. I'm going to take and here is there is the armhole and her armhole circumference is 58. Let's see if that is correct because for many women with the larger bust lines the armhole circumference tends to be a little bit smaller. So if it's not correct then I'm just going to have to shrink it down a bit. Well, guess what? It's 56 centimeters. I think 58 might be a little bit too large, so I'm just going to leave it. That can be always adjusted on the body. 
So this is the, the back sheath with her shoulder adjustment. This one here will be the front. Now I will trace the pattern pieces. I'm going to have the center front and the side front and I will have the back. When we